the minute you've walked in here at Cop Hill, people have pounced on you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's usual. <laughs> it's, uh, I built the reputation up over many years. I mean, 60 years ago, I never thought that we'd be doing this interviewing and that. To me, it was just a job. Uh, developing the cars, the race cars, and doing the racing. So if you look at the 50s, that's that's when Jaguar made its name, Le Mans, all the big races, and uh, we had seven wins at Le Mans, which was remarkable. But, and I was happy to have developed those cars for the race. I developed the disc brake, uh, which everybody's got video, now, you know. The, um, it must be so exciting or, or very nice for you to uh, think, yeah, I did that. <laughs> well, it is, I suppose, but at the uh, time when you're doing it, I mean, it's just a job, that's right. Yeah. I noticed you arrived in a Jaguar. Oh, you had to, really, didn't you? Well, it's always been Jaguar. Uh, I'm fortunate, Jaguar supply me a card every year. Uh, so, well, at least they could so do that. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that relieves me of having to buy a car and insuring the car. Uh, Monday I'm off to America. So Pebble what's Beach. your secret? Because so you're, you you're, you're sort of 90 something, something, something age. Uh, nine, 93. <laughs> Keep it quiet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope I'm as good as you. Well, well everybody when says you that, you know, and here. they all ask me what tablets are I am. I'm on and no tablets. Side, all I say is just keep breathing. Well, That's all you can do. <laughs> so you haven't had a chance to have a look round here, but some events like this you must love. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice to see this, especially all the classic cars. Uh, I mean, the modern ones are nice, but it's love to see the old cars still running 60 years later. Uh, I mean, they're better now than when we turned them out new, you know. So, no, it's, I love doing these events. With Informal. Back, Look at the crowd here. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Pose for a picture. Pose for a picture, Norman. He wants you, not me. It's not a he, is it? So, Norman, we can't leave you here at uh, Dick Skipworth stand without talking through this little beauty next to you. What's this? Uh, this is the uh, XJ13. We only made the one, and uh, I started developing, testing it in 1964. We didn't make a lot of fuss about how quick we did it. We were thinking for Limon, but uh, so the time went on, and then uh, Sir William sent me a memo to say we don't run it because British Leyland were then controlling Jaguar. They didn't want any racing, so uh, it stood around for a couple of weeks. And then I thought, well, we can't Hello, leave it here. So I did take it to the test track, broke the rules, and. Uh, I took it on the Sunday, we tried it, got back Monday and Sir William sent for me and he said, uh, where were you yesterday, Dewis? I said, oh, yesterday, uh, I was at the test track. He said, yes, I've heard with the 13. The memo didn't give any time or date, I thought it was only just for that day. He said, well, next time, Dewis, he said, I'll send it down, it'll have the time, the date and everything. So that's how the car evolved, testing it, we got it all ready, and then they altered the regulation at Limon, three litre engine, this is a five litre, so it never raced. And uh, 1971, I was doing a film sequence for the V12 engine, I had a big crash in it, rolled it, wrecked it, and uh, after a while we looked and said, well, we can put it back as it was and here we are today look all panelled up and this is nice the original seeing, one it must be nice seeing them all done up and nice oh again, it? yeah yeah and it's it's a superb car the the coefficient of drag that is the airflow over the Sorry. car is still the lowest that ever produced on a car well, tell us ferrari all hasn't got anything lower or the formula ones are not lower than this perfect shape ah, so the least ah. they can do is give you a new one every bloody year <laughs> yes that's, that's right this. yeah yeah um, no, it's a beautiful car, and as I say, uh, it belongs to the heritage now. It's it's in the museum most of the time, and that's where it's got to be because, as I say, beautiful car, one-off. Put a value on it. I don't know what you what you'd fetch on the market. Millions, I suppose. I can't, couldn't afford it. <laughs>